we have just received the first official POV of Copperhead Strike, opening this year at Carowinds. Let's take a look at it. On Copperhead Strike's animation, upon its announcement, the ride looked like it had potential to have some really good hang time and airtime moments. And it's overall not a very intense looking ride, but very exciting, pretty well paced for the most part. But sometimes with the animations, you know, it's not quite what it is when it actually is operating, whether that's for better or for worse. So let's take a look at this POV we got from Carowinds. We start off by rolling out of the station. Got this Jojo roll here. Very unique element. As a lot of you know, this is only the second Jojo roll ever, so it's pretty exciting. We hit the barn here, which is going to have quite a bit of theming, it looks like. Probably going to be sitting here for a while on the ride, and there's different things going on. Then we hit the first launch. We go into this really circular loop. Looks like it has some pretty good hang time, actually. This awesome ejector airtime moment. Over this, this corkscrew here. Go through a couple twists. Pretty low to the ground there. Another airtime moment. Then we hit the airtime launch here. Looks very exciting. We hit this sort of double up into this top hat here, which is going to provide another awesome moment of hang time, it looks like. Another overbank turn, we hit the second vertical loop here. Then we go through a lot of twists and turns here. Pretty much staying really low to the ground. Lots of overbank turns, things of that nature. We get really low to the ground right there. Basically just going through twists and turns at the end here. Another small airtime moment to end things off and then hit the brake run. This POV looks great, I think. And, I mean, this is just a test run, so it's barely warmed up yet. I think a lot of people were kind of skeptical when this ride was announced because, you know, it's not, like, super intense or it doesn't have the most airtime or the most inversions, you know. It's not the longest ride. But I think this is going to be great for Carowinds. And overall, I think a lot of people are sort of coming around more on this ride, including myself. A lot of us thought when it was first announced, like, oh, you know, it looks like a pretty fun ride, even a great ride. But seeing the actual testing footage now, it just looks great. It just looks like it's going to be a really fun ride. Nothing too intense, you know. It's going to have more of that family appeal that Carowinds, I think, is definitely going for. So it's going to be good in that regard, but it's also going to be super thrilling for coaster enthusiasts as well. It's going to have some great airtime moments, some really good hang time. It looks like those loops might be fairly forceful as well. So I think this is going to be a great ride. I'm supposed to be getting on this actually in early June when I visit Carowinds and Kings Dominion on my trip. So I'm really looking forward to this ride. One of my most anticipated for sure, especially now that we have this footage and looking at what it's actually going to run like, I'm really excited for this ride. I think it looks phenomenal. It's not, you know, like I said, it's not a Maverick level ride or a Helix level ride or anything of that nature. It's just a really fun ride. I think it's going to deliver some top-notch thrills for Carowinds. What do you guys think about this footage we have now? Is this what you guys were expecting? This is definitely looking a lot better than I thought it would for sure. I mean, I already thought it looked like a great ride, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, everybody, and stay tuned for more roller coaster and amusement park content. Thanks for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.